Hey everyone, it's Sarah or Lovely Day here with a Wine in Dollies video. And before I do get into this video, I want to remind everyone that my giveaway where you can enter to win a little set with a bag, a plushie, a camera, and an umbrella ends in three days. So that is on the 13th of August, which is also my birthday, yay me. If you do want to enter and you haven't already, definitely check that out because you're running out of time. So there's this set that is pink, and then there's also this set here, which is kind of blue and red. Right, so I have a few things that I want to talk about. I don't really know where to start, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. My voice is kind of coming and going, it's doing some weird things. So sorry about that, I am homesick today. I don't have wine, but I do have my trusty Slytherin glass with my Coke in there. So to start off with, I thought I should let you all know what I ended up doing with my Doll Lily. You may or may not notice that she is not behind me, and that is because I have sold her. I posted her up for sale pretty soon after I uploaded the face up video. I just wasn't really bonding with her, I really just wasn't a fan of her size. So um, yeah, I listed her up for sale. The first person who contacted me about her was kind of difficult. <laughs> they contacted me really quick after I listed the sale on Facebook just saying, you know, hi, can I have more pictures? So I sent them a lot more pictures. I asked them if there were any specific things they wanted in those pictures. They said some pictures with clothes on, some with clothes off, and to show posing. So I did my best to do all of those things for this person. Their replies were brief, but they were replying. I gave this person oodles of information. I just wanted to make sure that they knew as much as there was to know about this doll. They said, yep, I'll buy her, just need to decide where to get it shipped. I said to them that if they can just give me their email address, then I can send them a PayPal invoice, which I find is the easiest way to do these things. And then they stopped messaging me. And if you follow me on Instagram, you possibly would have seen on my story, I posted pretty much the entire conversation from this point onwards. They just stopped replying. I gave them 48 hours and they just didn't, say anything more and they were seeing the messages too and I thought well you know people are busy I'll give them time time zones are a pain but the fact that they went from replying quite readily to not replying at all just felt off I had a lot of other people who had messaged me also interested in the style and I knew I would be able to get a quick sale and that's what I wanted but I was still hung up on this first person who had messaged me and had now decided that I wasn't worth their time. I messaged them saying, so are you still interested? Please let me know and I'd wait for a bit, nothing. And surely if they wanted the doll that badly, they would message me or take the time to say, hey, sorry, I can't message you at the moment. Can I, you know, have this amount of time? But they didn't. Anyway, they finally did reply and they just said, I can't respond every time you want me to. They hadn't answered any of my questions, but they had said that. So, <laughs> it was strange. To me, it came across as quite rude, especially when I had done as much as I could. So, um, yeah, at this point, they were just wasting my time and it didn't seem like they were going to go through with it. So I said, hey, if you're gonna go through with it, please say, because I can't just wait on faith uh, they ended up getting quite shitty with me. I told them I'd moved on and you know I reserve the right to choose who I sell to and who I don't, which is a true fact. I had given them time and all this... Yes. They then decided to message me quite a few messages. What did I do wrong and I'm busy and I'm at work full time and I'm caring for my dogs and that means I can't message you when you want me to message you. Not once did they give me a clear answer. They said they were definitely going to buy her but they never followed through on any of that. So um, yeah, I contacted the next person on the list and they snapped her up. They said, yep, cool. Done. <laughs> they didn't end up buying the wig though, so I still have that and it is still for sale if anyone is interested. But I mean, in complete contrast, the person who ended up actually buying her was so quick and the transaction was so smooth and I could not have asked for better. After all of the trouble, it was a relief to finally have it sorted and I had her all packaged up and sent the next day. I hope she'll be loved in her new home because I was kind of sad that I could not do that for her here. Oh and funny story, I later found out this person who was wasting my time actually messaged one of the admins 
on the BJD transactions gone wrong Facebook page complaining about me saying I was being rude and not selling them the doll. The Moz looked into this person further and found out they were doing this and that, wasting other people's time. The admin actually messaged them back after they, because they screenshotted our replies too, but they conveniently left out the beginning of the conversation where I took all the photos, answered all the questions with like, you know, big replies. <laughs> They conveniently left that out and the admin actually said, you know, <laughs> she hasn't said anything wrong, meaning I haven't said anything wrong and that I do reserve the right to sell to who I want. So they were on my side at least, which was reassuring, but um, there was more to it. It wasn't just me. <laughs> With the money that I got for selling the lily, I finally, finally finished paying off my layaway for my switch doha head and I am so excited. He should be sent this weekend, fingers crossed, depending if the seller can get to the post shop or what. I don't really mind, I'm in no particular rush, especially since I've made them wait so long with payments and whatever, they were honestly a saint. I cannot say enough how much I appreciate their patience. I could not have done it otherwise because yeah, he was a bit expensive. <laughs> even for just a head and he does have a face up by Angel Toast which is gorgeous but yeah um so I'm going to have a floating head the April Story body is and actually you might be able to just see him there <laughs> he has a jersey on it's actually Claire's big one from Cherry Dolls Boutique I was getting a bit sick of seeing him naked and tried that on him since it's the boyfriend sweater and conveniently enough it fits him and it doesn't look terrible so he's sitting there with that on at the moment in case you're wondering. I still haven't bought him any clothes but I'll, I'll get there. <laughs> but yeah sorry I'm getting off track. <laughs> the reason I got that April Story Boy is for the switch head. Originally I was only going to buy a body but then I discovered that April Story had the event where you get a free head so I got a free head. I was going back and forth about it for a little while thinking oh what head's going to float, will I get another body for the switch head? I've come to the conclusion that that head will be the one that floats. Even though I said in my unboxing video that that head is Lee, originally it wasn't. Originally the switch doha head was Lee and that was that. I mean the reason I got that body is for that switch head so it seems a bit counterintuitive to stick with the unplanned free head rather than the one I spent a lot more money and time getting so um, that's the plan for that and I was able to contact Frapzilla who is making the wig for this boy to ask them to change the size of the wig because and this is where I kind of confused myself because I'm not really sure what I was thinking but when I got that wig I commissioned it to be 8 inch size which is the size of that head but the switch head is 9 inch so that wouldn't have worked anyway I really I don't know what I was thinking but the good news is that Frapzilla was able to change the size of my order and they hadn't actually started on my wig yet which was very convenient so um yeah they are going to be making a 9 inch one which will be perfect for my switch head so yeah it's going to be good and I really can't wait for that to happen meanwhile he just sits there being sad and naked well not completely naked anymore you might be able to see I got a set of drawers I suppose they're from Kmart they were in their home decor section they're not for dolls specifically they're just kind of those little show, I suppose maybe stationery, bits and bobs drawers, I don't know. But I saw them and thought they would be perfect for BJD clothes. I'll see if I can get it out to show you what it looks like because I'm really happy with it. Hang on. Okay, here it is. So, um, as you can see, it is quite a good size. I think it's perfect for my SDs since if I stand under the next to it, it comes up to like just under their hip, which if I stand next to my set of drawers, that's where they come up to on me or thereabouts. I do like how simplistic it is. In this drawer, I have Ava's things and the lovely hat that Kate made for my girls, which is really cool. In this drawer, I have 
my SD tops all folded up nicely. In this drawer I have my jerseys and yeah pretty much just jerseys actually. There's quite a few and they do take up quite a bit of space. Oh, I need to make sure I don't squish that in there. Uh, in this drawer I have a mixture of things. There's jeans, shorts and this dress so they all fit in there quite nicely. And as you can probably guess this last drawer is filled with leggings and socks. So yeah, I'm super happy with this and I am tempted now to at least start thinking about making some sort of diorama. But for SDs, making a diorama would require a lot of space and that's not really something I have much of at the moment. So yeah, for now anyway, it fits perfectly in the shelf just behind them and it's out of the way, which is handy. Another little thing, I got some clothes in the mail. I was going to do a parcel opening video for it since I did order quite a few things from the store, but I was really tired. I mean, I know that's not the best excuse, but I was also sick of filming at nighttime where my lighting is terrible. I wanted to do it at daytime and I was going to wait and I couldn't be bothered waiting. But I'll show you now what I got. Millie's outfit here features two of the new items. She has the scarf that Kate made and the socks too. But um, this narwhal sweater is one of the items as are these grey leggings. Now the shop is Mobinjo. I'm probably saying it wrong but I'll link it down below. I love their clothes. Honestly there are so many unique prints and just styles on there that I'm definitely going to go back and get a bunch more things when I next can. I got this MSD size sweater for Ava. I've been having a bit of trouble finding things for Ava that fit her top half just because any tops or jerseys I get look funny around her waist because her hips are so wide. The tops I have tried just bunch up but Mobinjo's jerseys and jumpers and shirts and whatever, a lot of their things I've noticed are flared at the waist so they fit Ava really nicely which is awesome to know. I'm so happy I found their store, honestly their items are a really good value and just so unique. I definitely would recommend checking them out. I got some MSD sized leggings as well but I ended up sending them away with the Lily since they would not fit Ava. Oh I did get some other leggings as well, I'll get them out of my drawer. They were these really funky uh, SD leggings and I forgot to say as well that these leggings fit Millie perfectly. I haven't actually tried them on Claire yet but I'm not sure they'd fit her very well because they are a lot slimmer at the waist. I'm not sure if you can tell from this. I might get out another pair so you can see what I mean. So just to compare. These are some leggings, SD sized as well, that I got from Cherry Dolls Boutique and they fit on Claire really snugly around her hips and her butt, they look really good. Um, they're a little bit baggy at the top for Millie though. These ones are nice on Millie and if I sit them on top of each other you can see, I mean they're both stretchy material but the um, ones from Cherry Dolls Boutique are wider. So. Um, yeah, I mean it explains why they're big gear on Millie. And then these ones actually fit Millie really nicely. I know some of you guys have been watching me and are curious where I get clothes to fit Millie since the me is a bit difficult being so slim. So um, yeah, I definitely suggest checking out Mobinjo for their leggings and just clothes in general because they're awesome. I am thinking about, well, I'm more than thinking about it, I am pretty much decided on what I want to do, I just haven't done it yet because I don't actually have the money in my account yet. But when I do, I'm going to start a layaway for a Soul Doll Isabel human version because I love her. <laughs> She's on my wish list, which I posted on Instagram. I just fell in love with her when I first saw her. She's very slender and has very dainty features, but I really like it and the body looks nice too, but I'm mainly drawn to the head sculpt. She would be a character from my story, same as Lee. Um, I won't say her name yet because, I mean, 
I think it's fun revealing that when I actually get the doll. I'm hoping I can start that layaway this month so that I can catch Soul Dolls free shipping event thing because that would save me quite a bit of money. Shipping to New Zealand can be quite pricey and I mean shipping in general is a pain to have to pay for on top of your already expensive order but yeah I'm considering selling Ellen. I don't know I've kind of put a feeler out um, if he sells, he sells. If he doesn't, it's not the end of the world. It would just be to help me get money for Isabel so I can pay her off sooner. I don't think I have too much more to say, but I did want to end this video with just some random opening stuff. I was hoping I'd have a parcel in the mail. It should have arrived a few days ago, just with some ice for Lee, but New Zealand Post is sticking me over once again, so it's not here. But when I went to get my lunch before, I popped into EB Games and they always have the cutest little blind box things and I do like to pop in frequently to check them since if there is ever anything good, they sell out pretty much that day. So yeah, I got a few things. The first thing is this cute little Wonder Woman cube plush thing. I thought it could be, you know, a good doll size thing and it was five bucks. So I saw it and I'm like, I mean I have to. There were quite a few others there as well. There was a Batman, a Superman, Batgirl, there was the Flash, Joker and Harley Quinn. But I kind of had to hold myself back because I don't need all of them but I do really like Wonder Woman so I got her and I think it would be a cute little size for my dolls perhaps so I'll put her over there. The next thing I got was this little Mercy Pop keychain. I haven't played Overwatch in a very long time, but Mercy is like my go-to. If you know me, you know I've cosplayed her. I've made a cosplay for Claire that is Mercy as well. So yeah, and I always thought that these cute little keychains kind of double as sweet little BJD size toys so yeah and I actually have the big version of the or the normal version of this pop so yeah that's really cool and the last thing I actually got three of I'm not really sure what they are from what I could tell from the pictures and from what the person who worked there could tell me they're little comic books which have figures in them I don't really know I was initially just going to get one to see what it was like, but then they checked the price because they weren't labelled, and then they told me they were actually just $4, so I got three. Hopefully they're not complete shit because often blind box things can be kind of meh. I'm not really in it to collect the whole thing because they're generally overpriced, but we'll see how these are. I mean, my hope is that the comic books might look nice enough to be props, or even the um, little figures inside them look half decent. I don't know, for four bucks I can't really complain. Anyway, inside the box is this bag, so it is completely blind. I can feel like a solid box in there. So, yeah. Anyway. Uh huh. Oh, it smells quite strong like plastic. This is quite cute actually. I could make a little BJD bookshelf. So um, this one is Spider Gwen, I think? Yeah, sorry, my knowledge of all of these things isn't quite as good as it could be. And from what I can tell, you open this up. Oh, okay, these are actually adorable. Does she come out or does she just stay in there? I think she just stays in there. So you open it up and in there, is Spider Gwen, which is really cute. It's all plastic, but they look super cute, and I I seriously might have to go back and get some more. It's got magnets in it too, so it closes, and it has a little keychain too. This is super cute. Oh my gosh, okay. Happy about these. I do think I might have to go and get some more. I mean, even though I don't really know what I'm going to do with them necessarily, but they're very cute. Okay, on to the next one. Oh, I'm happy about that. So many times I've got things like this and they end up being shit. <laughs> I 
Right, ooh, okay, this is a Black Panther one. You can see, so. Cover. Back. And you open it up. Very, very cute. I mean, I don't really need any more than three. Let's be real here. But part of me definitely wants to get more. I'm not going to lie. It's wrecking these boxes. The only thing is the more I get, the higher the chances are of me getting a dirt kit. And I don't want a dirt kit. Ooh, okay, this is a vision one. Right, so the three I got in the end, I got a Spider Gwen, I got a Black Panther and a Vision. Quite cool. I mean, yes they are plasticky, but I think they're actually quite nicely made, really. They've got magnets in them, they're solid, they've got cool little details on them. And I think they could go in a little BJD bookshelf. <laughs> I mean, they look a bit boring on the spines, but... All in all, they're not too bad. I wonder how many there are actually. Looking at here, it doesn't say too much on the box. Okay, I just looked it up, and from what I can tell, there are 14. I do think this one would be Millie's Jam, <laughs> just because it's purple. I'm really into collecting little things that are BJD size that I could use one day in a diorama of some kind. I don't know, and these do look quite cool, so I'm happy about that. With that, I don't actually think I have much more to say, so um, I might end my video here. Don't forget to enter my giveaway if that is something you have not done yet and you would like to. Um, I will of course link it down below and you can find it on my channel anyway. If you haven't subscribed already, I would love it if you joined me. Thank you so much for watching, it has been lovely and I will catch you in another video sometime soon.